name is Lincoln Carson. I'm a pastry chef and owner of Lincoln Heavy Industries, an educator and consulting firm. My recipe is a Wayna Poche Creme. It's being paired with a passion fruit syllabub and a mandarin microwave sponge cake. I'm featuring a new uh, white chocolate from Velra, Wayna. It's uh, double certified, organic, fair trade white chocolate, but more importantly, it's a really, really amazing white chocolate. It's a beautiful, creamy, smooth, milky flavor. To start, I'm making the uh, Wayna Pocha Creme. I'm going to melt my chocolate to 45 degrees Celsius, uh, being very careful to melt it slowly and gently. I'm going to bring my milk and glucose up to a skull, so approximately 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Dissolve my bloomed gelatin into that liquid, and then strain the liquid through a chinois or a passette. With that hot liquid, I'm going to be streaming it very slowly and gently into the Wayana, all the time emulsifying with a rubber spatula. I'm going to submerge the hand blender into the ganache, release the air, and slowly start blending while adding my remaining cream. Once it's entirely emulsified, I'm going to pour it into the vessels of my choosing. We want to put that under refrigeration for at least eight hours, preferably overnight, so that it has time to crystallize and set. Mandarin microwave cake. It's a very simple recipe. It's really nice for a restaurant service because you can make it fresh in a very little bit of time. Place all of your liquid into a blender on high speed. Start to add your dry ingredients until completely pureed and smooth. Pass them through a chinois. Place them into a siphon and charge the siphon with two chargers for the half liter size siphon. If you're using a full liter siphon, you should charge it with three chargers. Keep your siphon very cold in the refrigeration. Uh, be sure to shake it up and generally fill the vessel no more than two thirds of the way. Depending on the size of the vessel, you're gonna cook it between 20 and 45 seconds. Remove the cake and invert it and allow it to sit for 30 to 45 seconds. Passion fruit syllabub. Uh, simply warm the cream with the sugar, reduce the passion fruit juice by half, combine the two using a hand blender and allow them to set overnight. So the plating for this dessert is very versatile. I originally uh, considered using it as a pre-dessert. Um, you have the ability to use different kinds of citrus, whatever's in season, whatever you find delicious at the moment. It eats very well in a small, uh, small vessel, but it also makes a nicer, larger plated dessert if it's something that you want to put on as a menu item.